Hi guys, welcome to my get ready with me. I haven't done this in so long, so it feels very awkward. And my setup is completely different than all of my other get ready with me is because this is my first one after moving but i got a lot of comments asking for one so i decided to do a get ready with me q a today i'm not really getting ready for anything but i'm still excited because i get to try out new makeup products that i got and also answer the questions at the same time today i'm going for like a barbie kind of look with the whole movie coming out and apparently the trending color is like hot pink so i wanted to go for like that type of look just hydrating my lips first i'm sorry if i keep looking out the window i'm sitting in front of my window right now and like i don't know my eyes just keep going that way this lip oil is like the best it's so hydrating and it's very thick but the hydration lasts all day i'm gonna be putting on contacts and i'm using the moody contacts and these are like a blue color and i felt like when i think of barbie i think of like blue eyes blonde hair i have black hair but i'm just gonna do whatever i can with what i have and this brand is like one of my favorite lens brand these are so pretty these aren't enlarging contacts i thought they were but they aren't but i still love them so first i'm going to answer questions about myself and then i'm gonna get on to more about the business aspect and my favorite products and all that so to start off, my name is Crystal and my Korean name is Sujong. I'm Korean. I was born in Korea and then I came when I was 7 years old. Okay, before I get to the other questions, I'm gonna start with my foundation. And this is not the usual foundation that I use, but I wanted to try out different ones. So I got this from Yes Style and it's supposed to be a dewy one. I have to put on sunscreen. After I graduated high school, I didn't go to college because I wanted to study makeup. So I started going to Makeup Forever Academy in New York and I hated it because I felt like I wasn't really like learning anything and I realized that I don't like doing makeup on other people. I just like doing makeup on myself and I feel like makeup was a little difficult in my experience just because there's so many facial features that you have to work with and i felt like the industry was very saturated like a lot of people were doing makeup so i stopped doing that and then i just went to cosmetology school because i loved beauty but i just didn't know what i wanted to do i just felt very anxious not going to college while all of my friends were in college so i just felt like i had to do something and i went to cosmetology school to get my license i finished cosmetology school three years ago the first encounter of doing nails was when i got my nails done at the studio in Korea town in New York. She just invited me to get my nails done and I became friends with her. She does not do nails anymore, but she had this little studio. I got closer to her and I started doing nails there and I was really bad and I got a lot of complaints. I don't know. I was just really bad and I hated it. So I stopped doing it and I was working part time until recently. I was just working like at random places part-time it all started when i posted this tiktok a year back saying that i'll be doing nails for free and i honestly did not expect it to go viral but it did i just wanted to practice on other people's nails so yeah i ended up doing only six people's nails it was just really really hard carrying all of my nail supplies to their house and doing them for free like i didn't have that much time and i regretted posting that tiktok to be honest but not really because a lot of people asked if i do nails like as a job i was still working my part-time job but that made me think like should i just start it because a lot of people are asking so i started renting out spaces at other salons i started at this nail salon in chinatown um i have a few tiktoks still up from when i was there and then i also was going over to brooklyn because i felt like a lot of people lived in like queens or brooklyn so 
I wanted like two different locations. Honestly, like I think it was like the hardest times of my life. I was literally carrying this big suitcase filled with my nail supplies, all my nail colors and everything, my drill, my lamp, all that. And I was carrying that in like 90 degrees heat. I can't believe I was doing that to be honest. And that's when I decided I need to get my own space. So I looked up spaces in this Korean community site and I saw this um, space that someone uploaded and it wasn't super expensive um it was something that i could afford so i decided to rent out that place and i'm really really glad that i did and then recently i decided to expand so i got my salon space i'm a very big mbti person i always ask for everyone's mbti like i'm super big on that and i can like guess everyone's mbti once i get to like know them a little bit and usually i guess right um mine is entj i go back and forth between entj and intj i like to say i'm entj but i feel like these days i just turned into an introvert i'm always home i don't like to go out i don't know if it's it's because I'm tired or I just don't like being around people anymore but either way I don't like going out the NTJ parts are accurate it's like 80% Honestly, I don't really shop that much anymore. I just like to wear and use what I have. If I were to do shopping, like for clothes, I really like Cody Book because they have a lot of options and they're very affordable. They have really cute clothes, like cute Korean style clothes. Also, I shop from YesStyle for all of my makeup and some hair accessories. They have like everything. They have homeware too. So I do most of my shopping from YesStyle. I don't know why I started. I don't have like a reason why I started. I, like I said, it just kind of happened out of nowhere. And it started from like this TikTok that I posted. And I had no intentions of doing nails full time or like as a living. It just kind of happened. And I'm really grateful for it, but it just wasn't a part of like my life plan. I also got questions on my first sets like my first first sets i don't have a picture of but i was scrolling through like my personal instagram to find some sets that i did in the past when i first started doing nails um i started doing like my friend's nails during covid when i was in cosmetology school so i'll show some of the pictures here it's really bad but i think i did have like some taste in like color theory and like designs and stuff i think i know what looks good and what doesn't but i just did not have the skill <laughs> And my favorite sets, I love doing these. Actually, one of my favorite sets was this one that I did recently. It was on Char's nails and it was in my vlog last week. And another one of my favorite sets is this Barbie set. It kind of goes with the theme today. So pretty and I believe that was a freestyle as well. Some people ask me like, do you like freestyling? And I usually answer no because I have a lot of planning to do. But besides that part, I love freestyling. I love doing what I like doing. And it just turns out good when I freestyle because I like that design. I'm gonna use the Anisha eyebrow pencil. I love this eyebrow pencil. It has been like my favorite because it is so thin. Like look at this, it's so thin. So you can draw like little strokes on the eyebrows and I love doing that. I don't have other hobbies. I feel like doing nails used to be my hobby. Ooh, I actually love baking. I started like this baking account a while ago because I that's when I actually had time to bake. But I love baking and one of my goals 
for like the future is to open up a cafe it's always been like my dream to open up a cafe and i feel like that's like everyone's dream but i guess it can seem out of niche for me like oh you're doing nails but why do you want to open a cafe but i really really love cafes i love like the different vibes of each cafe and how each one has like a personality and i feel like i can do one that's like my personality you know but besides that i don't have any hobbies nails used to be my hobby so it's i'm kind of like trying to find other things that i like doing i'm excited about a lot of things i know i seem very tired in my vlogs and i really am most of the time but I have a lot of things that I'm excited about. Right now, I'm in the process of planning products to sell in the future. That's what mostly excites me right now. Now that my salon is open and we've been open for almost two months now. Yeah, now I'm planning other stuff, so stay tuned for that. Even though it's gonna take a while, stay tuned. Today, I'm gonna use this palette from Lily by Ride. It came with this really cute mirror and I love this mirror so much. It goes with my vibe. I don't know what I'll be doing right now if I wasn't doing nails. That's the crazy part. I, I don't know what I'll be doing. I'm so grateful that everything has happened because before I started doing nails, I didn't know what I was going to do. And like I said, I had no exact plans for the future. I was just like in the process of trying new things. Honestly, I think I would have just been like still working my part-time job and trying to figure out what to do with my life the process of opening my salon space was only a month we rushed through the whole thing the renovation setting up the salon everything it just took one month now that i think about it it's kind of crazy like i don't know how this ha happened in a month there were a lot of obstacles along the way like communication issues with like the previous owner and like my lawyer their lawyer and i don't know like there was a lot of things happening and i was very frustrated at the time but everything happened smoothly which i i literally manifested in my notebook every night that this would go smoothly because it was stressing me out so much i got like breakouts on my skin yeah i was so stressed but we signed the lease in the beginning of april and construction and renovating took around a month or like three weeks and i opened on may 6th so i'm really grateful for everyone that were a part of this process recently i've been using this wake make stick to draw the egg you'll start i don't know if you can tell but yeah and yeah that's how i opened up i know it's like not that much information but really there's not a lot of information i can give i just found the salon space on google and i contacted the broker and that's how it happened and then i hired most of my workers on tiktok actually i hired based on experience and for nail techs it will be based on their work honestly it doesn't take me that long i think i figured out a way to work faster because that's how i would set up my appointments in my old studio it would take me an hour for an advanced gel design with no extensions and it would take me an hour and a half for an advanced gel x design for a lot of people that struggle with timing i would recommend always thinking that you're in a rush because that was literally me in my old salon in order to take all of my appointments in a day which was like four to five appointments i would have to rush myself Back in my old studio, I used to use Notion to organize my appointments and I really liked that feature where I can attach files because then I don't have to like go back to their Instagram and then look at the design again but now I just take all of my appointments through my website Honestly, I have a difficult time calling myself an influencer. I always don't think I am because I just have a lot of friends that are like really big on like YouTube or TikTok. And I just feel like compared to them, I'm 
like really like i'm just doing this for fun you know honestly it is kind of difficult because i'm just at the salon like all the time and all i can do is vlog i'm not able to like film any nail tutorials anymore it's just very difficult especially in like that type of setting where there's like customers coming in and out yeah i'm trying to like set up something where i can film nail tutorials as well especially like editing and uploading it's just a lot I'm so glad I got these questions because when I first started doing nails, I was using the wrong products. It's not that I was using bad products, but there were better quality that made my work a lot better. And now I'm gonna get into the products that I use. I get most of my products from Zilla View, even for the salon. For lashes, I'm gonna use these lashes I got from YesStyle. And it's like the anime style, so I love that. I'm gonna put these on and come back because I cannot do these on camera. For blush, I'm using this popular Dior blush that went viral after I think Kylie Jenner used it. I felt like it was such a Barbie vibe <laughs> blush, so I had to use this. And I'm gonna place that on the center. And I'm finished with the makeup. Honestly, all I can see right now are my cheeks. They're so pink, but I really love how this makeup turned out and I'm just gonna do my hair and I'll be back so I just did my hair and I changed because I really wanted to use these like ribbon hair clips I felt like this top really went along with it because it has like these little bows and I love how this makeup turned out especially like with this hair let me just finish up with the questions I found a few that I didn't answer I think I've tried acrylics once and I really didn't like it. I just don't like the way it smells and apparently it's like worse than gel for your health. And plus, I really like the different types of nails you can do with gel. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like it is a little more advanced um, and there's more products coming out. So I really like the concept of gel nails, which is why I decided to only stick with gel nails and I'm better at it. So I just decided to go with gel instead. I did, I actually recently worked as a manicurist for a photo shoot. I cannot say which photo shoot it was, but it was really, really fun and I loved it. Honestly, I think that's what I want to get into in the future. Like I do want to do some more like editorial work and I want to try like creative things for like photo shoots or like for other brands. And I would love to do like celebrity nails, like I said, for like photo shoots or like music videos. Like I would love that. I think that'd be so fun. I get most of my nail inspirations from like Instagram or Pinterest. There's so many talented artists out there. I don't know how they think of all these designs. Like if I don't go on Pinterest, I cannot freestyle. Like I have to get some like inspiration. I got so many questions on this and I literally forgot that I had a whole like clothing brand. It hasn't been that long since I started my clothing brand and then I was still like working part-time job when I started my clothing brand. After I made that TikTok, I realized like want to get into nails more. So I had to close that down. It was a really fun opportunity, but 
One thing that I had difficulty with was planning ahead, especially when you launch a product or clothes especially, it has to be like on trend. I am a big planner, but planning a year, a year and a half ahead was just too much for me. I'm glad I switched over to doing nails because I think I enjoy doing that better, especially where I can like work with more people and it's just more fun for me. My favorite Blackpink song is How You Like That. I feel like it's not everybody's favorite song, but I love the beat and it's so fun. Like, it's such a fun song. So I love that song. And as you guys all know, Blackpink is my favorite Blackpink. And those are all the questions that I'm going to answer. I think I covered most of the parts. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for getting ready with me today. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!